part of. He's an American Indian. So I did that for many years. Loved watching football back then. But since he passed a few years ago, I just haven't had the desire to get into football as much. My sons watch football and I like watching with them when they're around. But I travel a lot and I'm not around them a lot. Especially my son. That's in the air. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was a loose section right there. So you guys always got to be aware of people around those corners. And don't hit anybody. I think I got the video posted where I came really close to hitting somebody. And he was riding up the hill as I was going down. Not on this section, on actually a much faster section towards the top. And we clipped handlebars. Hello. So. So that was uh, about as close as I've ever got. I've never just plowed into somebody, thank God. But it is Sunday. And like I just told you a few minutes ago, you gotta be careful. They redid that water crossing. Let's see how much. Oh, I didn't get any water on my lens, so that's good. I used to have a nice line through there. They redid this, smoothed it out, made it much easier. This is literally. When you see my video I did about three or four days ago, you'll see the difference. So one thing about a rigid bike that I love is as soon as you need to get a little bit of a speed going. And gain some momentum. It's right there with you. It picks up the speed really fast. my favorite guy with these dogs. Hello, how are you today? He's here a couple times a week like I am. Anyway, oh what I was going to say is what I really like about a fully razor bike which is seems weird but is the fact that there's no moving parts you know, well I mean you're obviously your cranks and stuff but it's no moving parts as far as everything moving is it's just your body English and probably a lot of you guys rode BMX bikes when you're younger just like I did and would be amazed at all the jumps and tricks you could do by 
pumping that BMX bike and using the stiffness of the frame and the fork to react to stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Am I out of your way enough? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So they redo this too, it's a little bit loose. So Sunday, fun day. Just me. A little more jump sessions here. This is called the extra credit. I don't know, I switch lines on that all the time. I drop out between the trees. One more little jump coming up. A little off the wall jump. Which it's actually got a lot more mellow than it used to be. Look at this long approach. It's got this long approach right here. All right, guys, that's it. I see my lens is dirty. I'll post this up. Feel free to subscribe if you want. I don't have that many interesting videos. I don't edit them or do anything fancy. Uh, just I'm just having fun. I've rode a lot of these trails for the past 20, 25 years. I've got a lot of travel videos of the Philippines mostly when I've traveled there and I've lived there so it just uh, some of it's not posted I thought about posting some other stuff but and I posted some stuff that some opinion stuff which I may take down I don't know it just seems that I don't want to offend people and everybody has their right and their life and their journey and um, don't really li don't listen to me I'm it, I, I'm no effect on your life it's your life you live it I've always been a believer in that and just uh, I mean the main thing is don't don't hurt any other people but um, but just live your own life and do your own thing and uh enjoy it and try to make the best out of your life all right talk to you guys later